Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Tiffany Benson, one part of Team Benson, and today we're going to do a garden update since if you guys looked on the community page, you saw that yesterday I was pretty sad and over it <laughs> since it was 113 degrees with 40 mile an hour burning hot wind. All right guys, I'm starting inside because I just wanted to show you guys that I am going to be filming a pickle, pickling video after this and then also I'm going to show you guys what my pickled veggies look like. So if you guys haven't already subscribed, make sure you subscribe, hit the notification bell so that you will get a reminder of when this video comes out tomorrow. But a lot of people ask me for pickling recipes and how my pickles turned out. One of the jars, I've, I'm already pretty much halfway done on it because I've been eating it because it's so yummy. And the other two, I kept out for another week to see how I liked it, see if I liked it if it was fermented for one week versus two weeks. And one of them I got a little bit of craziness on, so I will show you guys that tomorrow in the video just so that you know what is okay craziness versus what is you should probably throw it out. But let's go out to the garden and see how it survived. All right, guys. So most things didn't have any issues or problems. Um, the things that were mainly affected were my trees. This side of my tree really, really got burnt up. This is my lime tree. Um, this is where, if you guys saw on the community page, the umbrella that was covering this got blown over and ripped to shreds. <laughs> so it really, really got it. Um, also, a lot of the flowers really, really got that extreme heat and wind too as well. Now, this part was pretty much fine, but the wind did blow over and took the shade cloth off of what's covering my mint plant, which makes me so sad. But luckily, down here at the bottom, the mint was rooting up, so it is starting to, it's already growing back. Um, so, but makes me sad. The, uh, tomato got it all of these were fine now I do have something that's eating my peppers guys now this would be the time that I actually go through and prune my peppers anyway so I've kind of just been letting nature prune these jalapenos but peppers you can keep them all year long as you can see even with all of these leaves stripped off of it off of this one this one's growing back new leaves all these are new leaves that it's just going to grow back. If you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you will know that this one got completely eaten all the way down to the nub, which was this branch right here. And it basically just sprouted a new one and grew a whole new plant. And I've gotten like six jalapenos off of just this plant right here. So a lot of times when it comes to my pepper plants, I know that I'm going to be keeping them year long or for years. So I sometimes prune them or sometimes I just let nature do its thing and prune them back and let the insects have them because they're not producing fruit right now. It's too hot for these to produce any fruit. So they're not going to, which is why nature is trying to take over and prune itself. So if you let that happen, it's fine. As long as the stem is still green, then you'll be fine. Just make sure that you mulch completely around it. But everything's still fine. And the eggplants were really enjoying the hot weather, which I'm like, how? Like it's so, so gross and hot out. And then all of these are doing really, really well. Look at that corn, guys. That corn's ridiculously tall. <laughs> It is really, really tall. I wonder how tall it's gonna get before it starts to actually produce corn, but it's getting really huge. But everything out here did really, really good. I just watered really deeply and made sure everything had water. Everything was fine. I planted some new okra starts there. And then also over here, I have it covered just in case I have my new loofah, but that's what the garden looked like after yesterday's craziness. As you can see too, this tree really got it too as well. My poor mulberry tree. So sad. <laughs> and also my starts, some of my starts 
look pretty bad. Um, my watermelon, of course, got eaten because I forgot it in the bed and it got eaten. The sunflower, the sun just really got to it, but the okra is doing fine and this is another loofah. These are some um, Malabar spinach and then this is a fever few that I'm actually getting ready to take in the house right now because I need this to last and survive so that it can grow in the fall. So as you guys can see, mostly everything was fine because everything was covered with the shade cloth but when shade cloth is not provided to your garden you can see the absolute destruction of it sometimes it's really hard when you're gardening in the desert and it's a windy day because it's blowing that hot wind on those leaves so they're literally going through and just shredding your leaves some of my plants may look like they have bug damage but that just is the wind that is blowing through and shredding shredding those leaves so you know it stinks, but the garden will get through it. You just keep having to water it and cover it when you can. And especially those trees, trees in Arizona grow in Arizona without any type of covering or anything on them. So they should be fine. I like to baby my trees a little bit <laughs> and try and take care of them because I only have the two, which nature has all the rest. <laughs> so I wanna make sure that my trees are okay but they'll be okay and they'll pull through. They've been pulling through all this time. Um, the other thing I want to show you guys is look at how much, how many seeds I got after drying out my marigolds and allowing them to completely dry. And then I cut off all the flowers, put them in a jar so that I can put it in my medicine cabinet. And then I saved all the seeds. So I plant, I'm gonna plant some of these seeds out in my garden, and then I'm also going to add them to the Team Benson store, Team Benson Desert Garden store. So if you guys don't remember, I'm starting an Etsy store. I'm hoping to have it all out by, I'm hoping the end of June. Most of the seeds I'm gathering from my garden, so I have to like, you know, grow them and then wait for it to give me some seeds and so I'm going to have midget cantaloupe in there I'm also going to have Malabar spinach in there and then I'm also going to have marigolds and then as we get more stuff then I'll put some more things in there um, we also are going to be launching the new website which will be up hopefully within by next week and that will have our seed swap that we're going to start doing that'll be on there so I'll give you guys all the details coming up Thank you for tuning in and checking out my channel sorry there was no garden tour yesterday but I had got a little bit of sun sickness on Saturday and by the time Sunday came around with the wind and it just blowing in my garden I just couldn't eat couldn't do it <laughs> so I hope that a little bit of an update was fine and I'll give you guys more of a garden tour later this week when hopefully it cools down to like 105 but until next time grow yourselves a garden because even a small space can provide you with tons of food bye guys